much, Anna. It was a great talk. And um, so finally, to finish the session, before we have the questions, we have a free paper from Hanno Pagina in Finland, who's published a lot on groin pain. And he's going to give a, a presentation on does preoperative inguinal MRI explain the origin of groin pain in athletes with groin hernia? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Dear organizer, it's happy and honored to be here. I guess I'm an only Finnish doctor and surgeon here in this meeting. And fortunately, that there's a lot of Danish and Swedish here that can support me, Scandinavia. So uh, I've been doing a lot of inguinal hernia surgery many, many years and uh, thousands of patients and also inguinal groin, groin pain surgery. And I'm really interested to see and use MRI, what does it give to me as a clinical surgeon, how often we can see the origin of pain before we operate the patient, because as a surgeon, of course, I'm very interested to see where exactly the pain is coming when I'm operating. It's more, more easy, as you can imagine. So this is a simple question. Uh, some patients with inguinal hernia are really painful. They are overwhelmingly painful, and I was asking myself that whether some of this pain would come from pubic symphysis. Nobody has done this earlier with MRI, so we were interested to look at this. So, uh, we know that pain response to, to hernia differs very, very much. About 10% of our patients are really painful, and I asked to myself that if there would be a, might be a pubic bone marrow edema or some other pathology, in these patients, and, and that's why we made an MRI study. Particularly, this direct inguinal hernia is very near of the pubic bone, and it might irritate the periost and cause some problems in the pubic bone and cause pain as well. Here are the anatomy, we all know this. And really, I'm, I've been interested of this pubic bone marrow edema many, many, many years, and we have listened and heard that many asymptomatic soccer players and ice hockey players, there's a pubic bone marrow edema. And, and sometimes it's, it's, it's a uh, primary phenomenon, we call it osteitis pubis. And below here you can see the laparoscopic view of the inflammated great uh, dree pubic symphysis. It's swollen, it's red, and it's irritated. And x-rays, of course, like this. But this grade one and grade two are very often seen with asymptomatic sportsmen, and, and it means nothing to surgeon in that way. So we took uh, 22 young athletes uh, with extremely painful inguinal hernia, and it means that if pain score is nil to 100, these athletes or young adults where pain scores were over 50, so painful cases. And we made MRI preoperatively and six months postoperatively and always used the laparoscopic hernia surgery. We analyzed the functional status, pain scale, quality of life, and complications of surgery. Here are some intraoperative details. Medial hernia was only five cases, lateral hernia 16 cases. And the results, this small study, we couldn't see any MRI findings related to this painful patients. No periostal irritation, no pubic bu bone edema, or no, nothing. So MRI was totally negative. And prolonged postoperative pain could not be predicted with preoperative MRI because MRI of the pubic bone was normal. And of course, surgery heals these patients. It's not nothing new with this. But these painful patients were also very painful after surgery. At six months, uh, there were pain with four patients, and, and they, were, they couldn't exercise so much because of the pain. So this is something else that pubic bone marrow edema is a problem. Here's quality of life scores. Of course, surgery uh, will uh, lift up the scores up, and that's nothing new with this. So the conclusion is that preoperative MRI was normal, except that there was, of course, inguinal hernia. Uh, and it can cause extreme, hernia can cause extreme groin pain in athletes, but an MRI does not explain the specific 
pathophysiology of this pain and high pain scores might be due to psychosocial factors or genetic factors but it's not a MRI business in my mind and uh, we know that sometimes pubic bone marrow edema is related to groin pain in soccer players in athletes top level athletes but the conclusion of this small study unpublished study is that it's not related to inguinal hernia clinical inguinal hernia thank you